If you're new to WordPress or you're thinking about using WordPress for your website, you might be a little overwhelmed with all the moving pieces in the back end. So I'm gonna break it down and help you understand how to make it easier for you to use WordPress. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future WordPress tutorials. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the website host. This is like the neighborhood where your house or your website lives. Then WordPress itself is installed on your host and then within WordPress, you install your theme, which is like painting the inside of your house. Within WordPress, you have pages and posts. These are the two main things that you'll be working with as you create or edit your website. One of the biggest decisions you will probably make on your website is which theme to use. And this decision can really impact how much you use your website because some themes are more user friendly than others. I recommend using themes that have a drag and drop interface because that's going to make it the easiest for you to use and update your website. The next thing that you might install on your website is a plugin. Now this is something that gives your website more functionality. Some popular plugins that people usually install are SEO plugins to boost your website SEO or a gallery plugin if you're a business owner that needs to display images of your work. If you're struggling to customize the look of your website, it may be your theme, but you don't have to change themes. You could start using a page builder plugin like Elementor or Beaver Builder or the Divi Builder. The last thing that you need to think about when it comes to your WordPress website is making sure that it's backed up and it's secure. So your website host should back up your website at least once a month. Some do it daily. You can also install a backup plugin within your WordPress website and do your own backups. But you also wanna be sure and keep your themes and your plugins up to date. They'll give you little notifications if there is an update available, just be sure to update the plugins regularly so that everything stays compatible and secure. I have several other WordPress tutorials that I'll link to in the description, but if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.